Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. If you're not here, if you are, you could subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that very much. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this entire look. This is a very bronzy, kind of fally, but still colorful look. Glam, but easy to do. I only use four with the inner corner brown bone highlighter, but four eyeshadows. That was it. It's like the easiest thing I ever done in my life. And in today's video, I used this palette, which I love so much. The Urban Decay Born to Run palette, and it's amazing. I'm gonna show you the four shadows that I used. This one, this one is um, Punk, Baja, Blaze, and Big Sky. Four eyeshadows for this glam eye look. I keep my face very. Uh, easy to follow. It's not too much. Just base, concealer, bronzer, and highlighter. That was it. The the most consuming time thing that I did was the eye um, the uh, cut crease. I think that one took me like 10 minutes to do because I was I wanted to be very precise and even in both sides, and I think I achieved that. But yeah, if you want to see what I did and how I did it, what I used also. Please keep on watching, and this is gonna be a voiceover. Um, so yeah, I, it was just too hot for me to not to have the AC on. I mean, I turn it off for like two minutes, and I'm already sweating. So yeah, um, I will see you at the end of the video. So first things first, I'm gonna moisturize my face with the uh, Clean and Clear Action Moisturizer. You can use whatever you have at your disposal. This is just to prepare your skin. And after that, I'm gonna go with the Cora Nobi Radiant Eye Oil, and I'm just gonna pat that very gently under my eyes. And then after that, I'm just gonna be using my um, Smashbox Primer Photo Finish Primer. I'm just gonna put that on the areas that my pores are very uh, noticeable and big <laughs> uh, that's my cheeks my upper lip my chin and a little bit of my forehead so I just gotta put that all over those areas after that I'm gonna be going with the foundation from Fiona styles that's the matte finish foundation um, in the shape number eight and this foundation is very concentrated so it's like full coverage I you see that I put a lot there but it's not really that much and I'm gonna use this real technique uh, sponge I really like that sponge I've been using it for a couple of weeks and I really like it I like it better than the orange one I'm just gonna make sure that the foundation is even evenly distributed around my face I really really like this foundation like I need to get another another one because I don't want to run out uh, now I'm gonna be using the, my shade tape chart this is in shade tan sand and I had to switch from the medium to this one because now I'm more more tan than usual and I'm just gonna um, blend that concealer out with the same sponge I like this one because it is not as or light than the medium and it just looks it makes my face looks more seamlessly and beautiful. And after blending everything out, I'm gonna set my concealer with the packets powder from MAC. I really like this powder. I know they don't make it anymore, so that's like super sad for me. So I need to find another powder so I like as much as this one. <laughs> so sad bring it back Mac please I'm setting the rest of my face with it though and for my bronze I'm using the pure bronze and brighten me palette I'm going first for the mineral glow I really like it because it's also like a highlighter glow and you don't really even need to like highlight your face but it's if you want to you can but with this you don't really need to I just love this palette so much like I use it almost in every one of my videos almost to a more contour face so my face doesn't look so round and now I'm gonna go with the highlighter the highlighter is 
called Afterglow. And I have to say, at the beginning when I got this palette, I did not like the highlighter at all. Because of all the texture that I got on my cheeks before, now I have it under control. I mean, I still get a few bumps here and there. But now that my cheeks are smoother than ever it just looks so beautiful it is all about your skincare people like i'm telling you people don't think it is but the makeup is as good as your skincare allows it to be so i'm just going over my cupid's bow my chin my forehead and i usually do also on top of my eyebrows because it just makes it come like forward i don't know it just i just love the look i forgot to contour my the side of my nose just to make my nose more skinny but not really and now i'm gonna be going with the start of the show the urban decay born to run palette and as you can see there i went with punk for the crease Lately, I've been liking doing the whole dark colors first and then go with the crease colors after. It's just it looks better for me and it's also less work. Even though you still have to blend a lot, but it's just less effort. This is gonna be my crease color just to transition the punk eyeshadow and I'm just gonna blend that all around the punk eyeshadow to make it more of a smoky eye and it's gonna take a while because I have to go back and forward back and forward it took me like 15 minutes for both eyes so I guess that's a real quick smoky eye but yeah just focus on those two colors and I promise you it will be all right gonna see me do this a lot I went back with punk just to intensify the crease uh, eyeshadow because it was kind of like blending into Baja but just to make it even deeper I went back with punk and you're gonna see me do that a lot and if you try this you're gonna end up doing that a lot because you really want that darker brown color to show and this is the um, I'm going over with the Baja again just to make sure that I don't lose Baja and I really like that Baja color. I love saying Baja, Baja, Baja. <laughs> but I'm just, uh, here is just a clean uh, blending brush just to make sure everything looks very um, mixed and diffuminized. I don't know how you say that. Well blend. Make sure that everything looks blend very well. And then I'm gonna go back with Baja on the bottom lash line just to make it is smoky as a possible I usually go lower than what most people do just because I really want the eye to look very smoky now I'm gonna be taking Baja and blending that eyeshadow also on my bottom lash line to make it really really smoky like I said before and these eyeshadows are freaking amazing they don't have any fallout they blend beautifully I don't know why I don't use this eyeshadow palette more but I'm gonna start using it like every freaking day right now because it's very 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 good I don't think I have like a palette from Urban Decay as much as I like this Born to Run palette now I'm gonna be cutting the crease and this is like the hardest part for me because I can never get them evenly so I think this is the even I ever had them and I'm using the uh, Models Own Tea Tree Concealer Healer Concealer from Models Own and that's the shade I believe Coral Rose if I'm not mistaken but everything is gonna be down in the book description box so if you want to go and purchase or try anything that I have here on my video, you can go and check the names in the bottom. I don't have any links to anything, you just go on Ulta or Sephora or whatever and just put the name on, on it. 
and now I'm gonna be using the color is called Big Sky. I have to look at it on my paper because I couldn't remember the name. And I'm putting it with my finger because I found it to be easier. Um, at least in the middle and the open lid and then for the um, corners of the, the concealer I went with a um, eye pencil brush and just make everything really crispy and defined like a cut crease should be and that eyeshadow you would think I have a lot of fallout but I have no fallout whatsoever like nothing on my face on my cheeks it was I was shocked And again, I'm reapplying uh, punk just to make the crease very defined and the uh, cut crease super, super crispy. So I'm just going to town with this punk eyeshadow. And like I, any other smoky eye, these things are about blending, blending, blending. For lashes, I'm using the lashes from PS. So three fold lashes. Those are from Primark, and for mascara, I'm using the Wonder Beauty Unlash Mascara Shape Tarmac. Eyeliner is from ColourPop, and this is in the shade Teaspoon on the bottom, and Suede on top. Suede is the a dark one. For the inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone, I'm using Blaze from the Born to Run palette. And on my lips, I have two lip liners that I'm using. First is the Junto Blue Lip Liner in Brown Sugar. And the second one is the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve number 6. Just I, I'm using the darker one to give my lips like a fur, um, bigger and deeper. And then I'm using the lighter one to make it seem more pouting, like a pouting kind of feel. For lipstick, I went with the Milani Matte Naked on the outer corners of my lips and then in the middle I'm using Matte Innocence. I'm just putting a little bit of highlighter on my cupid's bow and setting my face with a Smashbox Primer Water but you can use whatever you have on hand. So this is the final look. But yeah, um, I hopefully you like this video. I'm gonna transition more in fall colors because it's already September. My next tutorial is gonna be all fall colors, like very in your face kind of makeup. So, thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, follow me on Insta, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I was gonna say something. Oh, yeah, like this video. Uh, every product that I use is gonna be down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye, guys.